Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, squares put together such that uh, these vertices uh, G, E and C are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, these uh, points G, E and C lie on the very same uh, line. And moreover, uh, this line G, C intersects uh, this line at this point uh, Q. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, angle uh, AQE that is uh, represented by X. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept that we are uh, going to cover in solving uh, this uh, given problem and here's our uh, square and we know that all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of the square are uh, convert they are equal in length and moreover all uh, these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees uh, each and this is the diagonal of the square if this side length uh, of the square is uh, lowercase a and this side length is lowercase a as well then the diagonal is going to be equal to a times uh, square root of uh, 2 and furthermore uh, this uh, angle uh, is going to be 45 uh, degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 45 uh, degrees uh, as well and here's another diagonal of the very same uh, square and whenever these uh, two diagonals intersect each other then this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and furthermore uh, this uh, line segment is going to be equal to this line segment and likewise uh, this uh, line segment uh, is going to be equal to this uh, line segment in other words all uh, these uh, segments uh, are uh, equal uh, in length if this uh, whole uh, length uh, of this diagonal uh, is uh, 2 times a then uh, this uh, length uh, is going to be a and now let's recall the exterior angle theorem according to this uh, theorem exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram here this angle c is our exterior angle such that uh, c equals to a plus b and here's an example if we have uh, these uh, 60 degrees uh, and uh, 50 degrees are uh, two opposite uh, interior angles then uh, this angle is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two angles so this exterior angle is going to be 110 uh, degrees and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees in other words uh, sum of all uh, these uh, three interior angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees and here's an example as we can see the sum of all uh, these three interior angles uh, add up to 180 degrees and here's our uh, special uh, 30 60 90 triangle and now let's make an observation we can see that this 30 degrees is the smallest angle so the leg uh, opposite to this angle is going to be our uh, smallest leg whereas uh, this uh, 90 degree angle is our largest angle so therefore the side uh, opposite to that one is our longest uh, leg and in such kind of a triangle uh, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg if the smallest leg is uh, lowercase a units uh, then the longest leg is going to be two times uh, a and this uh, third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, three and now let's focus uh, on this uh, given uh, problem and since uh, both of these uh, squares are identical so that means uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of uh, these uh, squares are going to be congruent and here's our next step I have connected uh, these uh, two vertices uh, A and C as you can see over here then our uh, this angle uh, ACD is going to be 45 uh, degrees so therefore I put down uh, angle ACD is uh, 45 degrees 
and here in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these vertices A and uh, F uh, as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, G E and uh, this uh, A F uh, are the diagonals uh, of this uh, square and they meet each other at this point uh, P so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees and now let's make an observation once again this uh, whole uh, length uh, AF uh, is equal to this uh, length uh, AC since they are the diagonals of the congruent uh, squares and now let's assume that the length of this uh, diagonal uh, AC is uh, 2 times A then uh, this uh, diagonal length uh, AF uh, is going to be 2 times A as well and now we know that uh, this point P is the mid uh, point uh, on this uh, diagonal in other words uh, this uh, segment uh, FP is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, AP so therefore uh, this uh, segment AP is going to be lowercase a and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APC and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AP is our uh, smallest leg whereas uh, this uh, side AC is our longest leg and we can also see that our longest leg is twice the smallest uh, leg so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle is a 30 60 90 special triangle so therefore this is our smallest angle that is going to be equal to 30 degrees and uh, this uh, angle is going to be our 60 degree angle so therefore our this angle ACE turns out to be 30 degrees as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees so therefore this uh, tiny angle is going to be 45 minus 30 is going to give us uh, 15 uh, degrees so therefore our this uh, angle uh, QCD turns out to be 15 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDQ and we know that this is our uh, 90 degree angle and now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here for our triangle uh, CDQ this is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, 90 degrees uh, and 15 degrees so therefore I can write uh, this exterior angle X is going to be equal to 90 degrees plus 15 degrees so therefore our angle X turns out to be 105 degrees so therefore our angle X turns out to be 105 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye